Hi everyone, my name is Renee and I am the owner of License to Skill. We're an INCITA accredited training provider and we obviously do all sorts of amazing things like RE training and class of business training and CPD and basically everything that you need in order to become and remain face fit and proper. We also offer all of the insurance qualifications by CETA being short-term insurance, long-term insurance, wealth management and retail insurance. And we obviously offer everything normal via long distance. And also for those of you with more than five years experience, we offer RPL. The reason for my video today is really to help those of you that are currently busy completing the media research assignment on the short-term insurance qualification on NKF level 4. And I just want to give you some tips and tell you exactly what it is that we are going to be looking out for when we are assessing this media research assignment. Let's start with exactly what it is that you need to do first and then I'm going to show you a couple of examples of how and where you can find like really good media articles and um, then I'm going to tell you how you're going to be assessed upon them. Okay, so what you need to do um, during this assignment is you need to get articles on the following five topics which will be inside of your portfolio of evidence in your learner guide. The first one is technology developments that could impact short-term insurance. So an example of that well, for instance, be cars that can now drive themselves and in the event of a motor vehicle accident, you just leave the steering wheel if you were driving and they just, you know, it's like these accident prevention technology that they have in and they sort of assess where the other vehicles are and they try for your vehicle to sustain the minimum amount of damage and obviously other vehicles in its path as well. Um... Yeah, so that would be an example. Innovations in crime and accident prevention. Now you see how already there's a bit of a gray area there because innovations in accident prevention is something that I already explained. But that the technological development was only one example. So there are obviously millions. Um, there's a lot of developments that is currently taking place in artificial intelligence, but there's also a lot of developments taking place in software for short-term insurance, um, the way that claims are handled, the way that underwriting is being handled, um, and many others we'll see in a moment. Okay, innovations in crime and accident prevention could also be things like uh, tracking devices um, and alarms and um, a really amazing thing that has recently been introduced, not too recent, quite a while ago, is that some of the insurance companies use like a type of a voice recognition, not voice recognition, but they use software um, on at the call center so that when a client submits a claim and the client is submitting a fraudulent claim and the client is lying, that the recognition within the software would flag um, the client because it would pick up that possibly, you know, the client's breathing is erratic or whatever the case may be, and therefore that is something that they should be looking at. All right, that brings us to climate change. Um, so obviously disasters and climate change, once again, could sort of be done together because if you are discussing something let's say for instance the fires in the amazon right was a disaster but you could also link that to climate change um and the nice and the fires and the fires in australia and um yeah i'm not even going to be talking about the one which is currently happening in south africa and all over the world that all that have us all under lockdown we're not even going to I'm not even going to discuss that but climate change could obviously be um a lot of things um you know the in, the, the melting of the ice and increase of water which could result in you know a lot more floods of the coastal areas which um some insurance companies have already sort of indicated that they might exclude floods um at coastal areas you know those beautiful homes that have been built on the coast, those beach homes. Um, and then, of course, disasters could be anything that could be classified as a disaster. Uh, for instance, the Nisner fires were classified as a disaster. 
um, purely because of the uh, the size, the severity of those claims. And obviously, they had to ensure that reinsurance could kick in uh, to assist with the payouts of those claims. And that is why they had to obviously declare it as a disaster. And the last one, which is the one that people mostly struggle with, will be the socioeconomic developments in short-term insurance. Now, there are a couple of examples that you can use for that. Uh, obviously, the economy you could use, and you could use things that, um, again, South Africa's economy has been reduced to junk status. And what effect that has on short-term insurance? And you might think it doesn't because it really only affects, you know, our investments and therefore it could possibly uh, affect long-term insurance and so on. But it actually does affect short-term insurance. I'll show you in a moment. Um, a very nice example as well of a socioeconomic development in short-term insurance was hashtag fees must fall, uh, which happened a couple of years ago. And obviously... How that affected short-term insurance mostly is because of the damage that was caused to, um, yeah, things, you know, the subject matter of insurance that would be covered under short-term insurance. But obviously, because it was politically um, motivated, SASRIA would obviously have settled those claims, but it would have affected short-term insurance. Um, and then things like unemployment, I mean... One could say, and I definitely think there is a link, that one of the reasons why we have a very high um, crime rate in our country is because of unemployment. Yeah, and we can tie it back to apartheid and all those things, and then you're going to get all upset with me. But the um, reality is, is that all those things are connected, and that is one of the things that we do assess when we assess the media research assignments. I need you to understand that apart from the fact that we are assessing you against this unit standard, which is 10 credits. I'm also assessing you on your languages. Um, if, for instance, I need to, um, it would all be integrated into media. And I'm also assessing you against the majority of the associated um, assessment criteria of the qualification. For instance, that you understand that the world is a set of related systems and that if something happens on the one side, that that could have an influence on something else. Um, if something happens with our economy, if something happens in Parliament and somebody says something and, uh, and, and the rand drops and the oil price goes up and blah, 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 the effect thereof is obviously that it does affect the money that you're going to get out on your retirement in 18, 50 years' time or 30 or 20. That is the reality. Uh, we also assess the fact that you can use technology we also assess the fact that you can use complex data and you can read through it and you can take summaries of it and you can analyze it. And all of that is integrated into this media research assignment. So it's really important um, how you complete it. Okay, so what is it that I need you to do? So firstly, I need you to give me 15 articles. So you need to get 15 media articles on the five topics that I've just given you. And you can do more, you can do more topics, you can put something in about phase and Twin Peaks and treating customers fairly and all sorts of amazing things as long as you definitely covered the five topics that I gave you. And then if you want to do anything over and above that, be my guest. Um, okay, so what is required in your analysis? So I basically want you to download this article, right? And I want you to read it and you might need to read it a couple of times and underline and whatever the case may be. And then I basically want you to give me a summary of the article. So you're going to start off by saying, um, in this article, you know, and you're going to give me the article's a title, for instance, um, this one and this one said this and this and this, or this article talks about this and this and this, or this article illustrates this and this and this. And you summarize that article for me. And then you're going to give me your personal opinion, which is really important to me. So you're going to say that, you know, I agree with the writer because of these and these reasons, or I disagree with the writer because of these and these reasons. And then I want you to give me your prediction of what you think the effect will be 
on short-term insurance based on this happening. Um, so you're going to say, okay, so because of global warming, there's a lot more hail storms in Gauteng, and therefore hail is now not covered under comprehensive vehicle insurance anymore. Clients need to take this as an additional cover. Therefore, um, you know, that the, the, the effect thereof is that companies that maybe do cover it as part of comprehensive might have a competitive advantage or I need to ensure that if my if my client lives in Gauteng, that I need to tell them about this, that it's not covered, and that I do suggest that they take it as additional cover, whatever the case may be. And you can see I'm already alluding to the next point, which again is almost more important for me, which is how it affects your career path. Um, so how would you say that this happening that you've just reported on would change the way that you interact with your clients, whether you're doing claims or underwriting or retention or whatever the case may be. And I can guarantee you that if I'm dealing with a financial services advisor and they say to me, oh, it's very interesting, Renee, that you bring up this topic. I actually just read this article this weekend about blah, 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 and therefore blah, 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 blah. I would really feel that this learner or this financial advisor of mine is well read and that he researches and that he stays on top of things, you know, that he's continuously professionally developing himself, which is something you have to do in any event. And um, yeah, and I, I would feel really good about it. So I'm hoping that um, this media article research assignment helps you to just continue to do this. And, uh, and I really suggest that if you want to do it for CPD points, that you look at the ones available there. Um, if I News, for instance, one of my favorites, they offer CPD for free. So you just enroll with them, register with them, and then you read their articles and answer questions, whatever the case may be. And then you will get your CPD hours completely free of charge. That's, that's always good news, according to me. And then you can sound more informed when you're dealing with your client. Okay, so I want a one-page analysis per article, and I want you to copy and paste your article, so I want your article and your analysis, and I want you to note the date and the time that you downloaded it, and of course the, the website, I need you to reference the website for me. Alright, so now I'm going to go show you examples of how I suggest you do the research if you have access to an internet um, a browser like Google or Safari or whatever the case may be because according to me that is just the easiest you can do it the long way and go to a library or read the newspaper for me it's a bit depressing I don't want to read the newspaper I know that is um, contradictory because I'm telling you to do it but I refuse to do it but I live in a bubble in Cape Town um, and, and I get enough on Facebook and reading your analysis and then I know what is going on in the world you know eventually I find things out that Michael Jackson passed away or whatever the case may be even if it's at a party and I go really um, okay so in any event so you can do it in other ways but according to me the internet obviously is just the easiest and the best okay so here we are in uh, in Google and all that I typed in here is South Africa because otherwise, if I don't put in South Africa, obviously I'll get something, you know, that might be relevant to America or Australia, and it's not necessarily relevant to South Africa. Now, you can. It's not the end of the world if you're going to be using something from um, another country. But obviously, it would be ideal if you can use it, if it's, you know, that it's relevant in this country. It could also be relevant there, but you have to at least bring it back to, you know, your local insurance financial services industry and your career path. Okay, so I usually put in South Africa. You don't have to. Then I obviously put in short-term insurance because I want to ensure that I'm getting articles that is relevant. I'm not just going to put in innovations in crime because then I'm going to get like, I already got, you can see how many results. I can't even pronounce that. I'm going to sound like Jacob Zuma if I try and pronounce that number there. Okay, so that's the results that we got. So if I didn't, you know, define it as well as I did, it would have been more than that. Okay, South Africa, short-term insurance, media article. I'm saying specifically what I want, and then I say innovations in crime, and I 
hit enter and this is what I get. Okay, so then I can look at my headings here. Sun time in the fight against crime, insurance using technology to mitigate risk, increased crime and short-term insurance, crime stats leaving wallets lighter, da, da 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 Okay, so let's go into the first one. Let's go into the Sun time article. This is obviously um, on their website. It's one of their blogs. You can use that. It doesn't have to have been printed in the Mail and Guardian or whatever the case may be in order for you to read it. Obviously, this would have been written from Suntime's perspective, but that's fine. And they're talking about the South African Police Service and the increase and tips in an armed robbery situation. Again, you can read it through. And if you really like that article, then copy, paste, reference it. If not, go on or, you know, continue to look for something that you want to report on. So this is, uh, where are we now? IOL, Insurance Using Technology to Mitigate Risk. Uh, sounds really interesting and you read through it and again same story so you will just copy and paste this article if you're going to be using it you are going to copy and paste this so that we know where you got it from and you're going to give the date and the time that you downloaded this article all right you get the idea right so you're going to get three articles for instance um, on this specific topic all right then what was our other topic it was innovations in crime let me just get my notes uh, accident prevention okay so all I'm going to do now is I'm going to take crime out and I'm going to say accident prevention oops I didn't put a space there but I'm sure they know what I'm talking about Okay, um, and here we have something about telematics. Of course, SACO will come up because that's the unit standard we're currently busy with. You can ignore that one. There's one from FA News and so on and so on. So you get the idea. So now again, you read through a couple of articles, you get what you want. And now let's try the other ones as well. So let's, I'm going to show you from the top, right? So I'm going to say media article South Africa and now I'm gonna go for technology knowledge developments oops Okay, South Africa technology developments that could impact short-term insurance. And again, do you see how relevant these articles that are just coming up is? I don't have to go and read through 50,000 articles to get something that is relevant. It's obviously going to come up because I've really very nicely and specifically said what it is that I'm looking for. How is technology revolutionizing South Africa's short-term insurance? Looks like a great article. Again, another one. How tech is changing the insurance industry on fin24.com. And so they will go on. You get the idea? So, okay, let me just give you an example. Let's go into this one on fin24.com. There we go. So what you're going to do is you are going to download as we said right and then you're going to read this article and then when you discuss it you are then going to say to me that this article how tech is changing the insurance industry talks about and then you summarize this article for me and then you're going to give me your personal opinion on this article and then you're going to tell me how you think this happening, this innovation in technology will affect the short-term insurance industry and your specific career path. Um, and sometimes the article gives you those answers already. It might tell you how it is influencing short-term insurance. For instance, this one says, how is it changing the insurance industry? So you don't even have to try and suck, suck that out of the, your thumb. You already have it there. Okay, let's go back and now I am going to go for, so we've got short-term insurance media article, right, and this time I'm going to say, let me show you, socio-economic, oops, there we go. Okay, insurance roadmap. Um, you see that it says lack of growth in the insurance industry. Um, insurance industry could play a role in reducing 
Sunlam socioeconomic impact in South Africa. Businesses will have to fight for survival in 2020. Don't we know that? Or you could then go and look for something specific. So we can say um, short term insurance media article South Africa economy reduced to junk status. But I'm going to put leave in short term insurance because I want it once again to be specific, right? Um, check three ways in which the junk status affects your car and home insurance. So it brings it up. You don't even have to go and look for it, right? Um, South Africa economic update, blah, 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 whatever. So it is all there. You don't have to go and um, do much. Okay, so I want to recap just very briefly. It is 15 media articles that I need. It is five topics. Now, in my mind, I think what is easy is three articles per topic, boom. Or you can do one article per topic, that'll give you five articles, but then I still need you to do 10 articles. So you still need to do 10 others that would be relevant to short-term insurance. But I find that that is really useful, for instance, when you're working with niche insurance, that you rather want to bring it back to something really specific. If you work with marine, you want to get specific articles on marine insurance. That's fine. Um, okay, and then the other thing that I want to say is, is if you're going to be doing three articles per topic, you will see that... Your personal opinion might still differ, and obviously the summary of the article will differ because it will be different articles, but you might see that your prediction on how it will affect short-term insurance as well as your prediction of how it will affect your specific career path might be the same for all three articles. So what I want to say is I don't mind that you discuss all of them together then. So you can do your summary per article, your personal opinion per article, and then, you know, as, as in one analysis, say this article this, this article this, this article this, and then my personal opinion is, and then only repeat yourself once. In other words, you're not going to repeat yourself at all. Only say it once and your personal uh, or how it affects your, your, your career path. Okay, that's fine. And then as I said earlier, you'll obviously see that depending on what it is that you're researching, you could see that the innovations in crime and accident prevention could be very similar to the technology developments that could impact STI. Um, and also you will see that climate change could be the same as disaster but try as much as you can to keep them separate and then if there is something that is the same so for instance let's say micro dot um, on, on the parts of the cars is a technological development right but that has also changed crime prevention because because of the micro dots on the parts the those vehicles are not as uh, high risk possibly to be stolen or hijacked because obviously the um, the Tootsies have now figured out that um, they are able to be found, you know, if they're using these parts. So you will see that they do overlap and I don't mind that you discuss it together, but if you can just try and have three articles on technology and three articles on crime and accident prevention and three on climate and three on disasters, and try as best as you can not to discuss only one thing in all 15 articles. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, spread your wings a little bit, you know, venture to the dark side. It's all good. All right. The last two things that I very briefly want to talk about is a lot of people ask me about the six month and whether they can include articles, which is older than six months. And I just need to clarify this. So we ask you to please research articles over a minimum period of six months. That does not mean that you have that you that you must discard articles that would be older than six months because sometimes you get really good articles. Um, also, currently, I can just imagine that the you know it being locked down, the only articles that you are currently going to get you know for the six months going would be you know what, which we're not going to be talking about. Okay, so um. Yeah, six months is the minimum period that I need you to research articles over, but it can be longer, 
All right. So your articles can be older than six months. That is not an issue. However, for me, it's just important that whatever you are reporting on, even if it's older than six months, that it's still relevant and current. Um, I definitely don't want you to report on the Black Plague um, or the Great Fire of London in 1666 or whatever the case may be. Um, but you are, you are more than welcome to report on something where you know whatever it is the prediction would still be relevant like the Nisna fires which happened a few years ago already but what what, what the result thereof and what needs to happen and how it has changed underwriting that has not changed so that is relevant and then um, in closing you might wonder how I will be assessing this in a summative assessment now if you're doing the full distance, long qualification, long distance, full qualification with me over a period of um, six to 12 months, you're doing three modules. I will most probably assess media during all three summative assessments. And what I will most probably do is put it in an article. And that article will most probably cover something else in that summative assessment as well. For instance, on module one, if I'm assessing you against Sazria, I might put in a media research article about Sazria in your summative assessment and ask you questions based on that. And in doing that, I will be assessing you against Sazria as well as media. Um, in module two, where you will be doing uh, law of contract and phase and whatever the case may be, depending on whether you're doing personal lines, commercial lines, module one, I might be I might put in an article about how different needs lead to the development of different products and I might ask you something about that or the King 3 report or corporate governance and again in doing so I'll be assessing you against media as well as corporate governance and then the same with the third and final module you can contact us via info at learninsurance.co.za if you have any questions good luck with your media research assignment take care